Today we're gonna to help people out who are looking to find out more about hacking. What is a hacker and what is hacking? Stay tuned. But before we get into that, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Cybrary. If you guys are looking to get into the cybersecurity field, Cybrary has a lot of courses over there that are specifically geared towards some of the cybersecurity roles that you'll find in the industry today. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description below. So jumping right in, what is hacking? We need to define that before we can really get any further. When you hear about hacking or hackers, there's always some type of negative impact behind that. People always assume that being a hacker is not good. You're a bad person if you're a hacker. This is the common definition that you would hear for a hacker. It's a person who knows how to manipulate everything. They're a master manipulator, if you will. And whether that is computer systems, whether it's networks, applications, or even people. A hacker is somebody who essentially will manipulate something in a negative or malicious way. Now that's the common type of you know, definition that people often assume with being a hacker or being into hacking. However, that's just not the case. That's not what hacking is anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. There are still bad hackers out there, and those guys are most commonly referred to as black hat hackers. They are the malicious ones out of the bunch. They do manipulate computer systems and networks and applications and most often people. Oftentimes, when you hear about hacking in a negative way, it's due to black hat hackers. But there's also another side to defining a hacker or defining hacking. So that leads us to what is an ethical hacker. First, we need to define what ethical is. Now, by all accounts, just for this video, we could just say being ethical means that you're doing things for the right reason. You're doing things for the greater good. There's a purpose behind what you're doing, which is ultimately helping others, right? That's what we can kind of define ethical at in defining what an ethical hacker is. Because by all accounts, an ethical hacker does everything that a black hat hacker would do. They are most often hired from different companies and industries to penetrate their networks. So you might heard the term penetration tester. Oftentimes this is something that they would do. They would try to hack somebody's network or computer system or application, or they would try social engineering, which is hacking people. And they would try to manipulate and get into different environments, you know, uh, try to find the vulnerabilities within different environments. So an ethical hacker is often referred to as a white hat hacker. Being an ethical hacker does allow you to do some of the things that a black hat hacker would. However, you have principles and standards that you go by that you follow very consistently within your work. So you guys aren't trying to go out there and cause harm to any networks or social engineer anybody in a harmful way. The purpose of being an ethical hacker again is to help industries, professionals, businesses, secure their networks so that black hat hackers can't infiltrate them. So you're potentially just doing this, the black hat part, in the best possible way that you can so that you can help people. And that's just kind of my quick definition here. You guys can correct me in the comments and give your definition because I would love to hear it. I'm, there's many ways I think that you can define uh, what I we just went over, but I would love to hear from you. So make sure you guys leave a comment because I really do appreciate that stuff. And so one of the questions that I get most often is, how do I be a hacker? And my question back to you is, well, why do you want to be a hacker? And then when receiving this question, it's, you know, are you a black hat hacker or are you a white hat hacker? Because we here at IT Career Questions do not condone or support malicious hacking in any way. So if you guys are gonna ask me questions about being a black hat hacker, not going to respond to you. But however, if you wanna get into ethical hacking, I could definitely try to help you with that. So let's partly answer that question here. How can you become a hacker? And you guys are gonna to have to stay tuned for the next video that's gonna be coming out tomorrow on what you could do to become a hacker. Of course, you guys can always check out the ethical hacking courses over at cyberry.it. There's a link in the description below for those. You guys can use the coupon code ITCQ50, save 50% off of your premium membership, so that way you can access their practice labs and really dive deep and understand what ethical hacking is and hacking in general. And it kind of gets you geared up for that penetration testing role that you might be seeking because you've heard it so very often and you hear you can make a lot of money doing that, which is very true. But make sure you guys go follow cyberry.it, 
go through their courses and you can learn how to be an ethical hacker. So that's all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns, please hit me up in the comments below and make sure you guys join the mailing list so you guys can stay up to date on things that we're doing on a weekly basis. I really appreciate your support and as always, take it easy.